terrible. Road transport is the primary source of emissions in London. And now with the diesel scandal, obviously a lot of the emissions um, reporting is based on modeling, not actual use of the cars. So Deptford doesn't have real-time monitoring infrastructure, and it's not monitoring particulate matter. There's a considerable amount of construction and transport and other pollution-generating um, events, and the fabric of Deptford is changing. So we wanted to know more about this area and get involved with the local community. We've developed a technology called the dust box that looks at air pollution and in particular monitors particulate matter 2.5. It is one of the most measured pollutants and the reason it's interesting to measure it is because it's been through lots and lots of different court cases over the, really the last 20 years. Really any increase in 2.5 there is an increase in health risks associated. So this site should have a register of which equipment is on site at any one time, although at the moment we haven't been able to access those registers. Oh. The PM2.5 data is also um, is not available. There were a number of days when the particle was over a specific amount where they had to dampen everything down and they mm. put the sprayers on. So. So one of the things that citizen sensing technologies are meant to do, they're meant to enable, is to allow citizens to collect data not only so they can understand their own individual exposure, since uh, official monitoring stations are fixed in particular locations and will show emissions for those spots, but they won't necessarily show what your individual exposure is as you move around a city or at your home or in locations where you're working um, and so on. At the same time, it allows people to potentially generate data that could be used to contest or challenge That's official stupid. meetings. But there's going to be these six meter high vent ventilation columns that are going to vent the gaseous buildup from the sewers. Oh yeah. no! So yeah. it's going to have be... hydrogen sulfide sensors. So one of the key questions of the Citizen Sense project is to really ask how do environmental sensing technologies inform people's relationships to environments and environmental problems? While environmental sensors promise to make people more enabled as uh, environmental citizens where they can go out and monitor their own air, there's really a big question about how to ensure that that data um, is not only somewhat accurate, but can also be communicated in such a way as to affect change. Then we can start to look at where the likely emissions are coming from, if it's a local or regional source. Since we've just started monitoring, we're hoping to get much more data so that we can generate quite extensive um, evidence, really, about what's going on in the area, when there might be pollution events, and then whether those can also be attributed to particular sources. So this is the marine wharfs developments mm -hmm. that are going up, constant noise, constant. And mm -hmm. then Timbers Yards is right there, mm -hmm. and then we'll have Convoy's Wharf here. Lovely. So I think what we really want here in particular is monitoring go from, from now where we have completed and, and think to Timbers Yards, they've just raised it. Mm -hmm and 15 years on we'll have 40 story towers here. When communities get together to try to ensure that construction sites are um, being responsible, for instance, um, that might also require forms of organization, community building, communication with policymakers and regulators. So that's what's quite interesting about using these devices is that they really show that it, while technology can be a way to spark particular forms of engagement, they also reinforce the importance of um, community building. It's going to be a building here. Yeah. Edge the road. Yes. We have about 30 devices that are in circulation at any given time and people can go to the Deptford Library and check out their, uh, a device if they're interested to start uh, monitoring and you can see how your data is performing um, and whether you might be experiencing pollution events. You guys are all really engaged, which is great. You all know what we're talking about, you all know that these things are bad. The vast majority of the population sees a newspaper story, gets worried about it for 12 hours, and then forgets about it, and drives their kid to school the next day and leaves their engine on. And it's about involving more of the community, involving the schools, and if you can get the schools on board.